Alright, and Ursa. Name. Fly. Oh, Funshine Bear. It's Funshine. <laughs> Guess it's pretty good. No, wait. Okay, this is Top 5 Fridays with Laurie and the Sorry. name of the day. Okay, we have two, really, honorable mentions in our top five. This week's topic was, I picked this week, because Dylan picked last week, and it's our top five favorite TV shows, non-animated. And we each have two honorable mentions. Since I picked, I'll let you go first. You Except he's ahead. cleaning his glasses. Go ahead and make your two. Right, well, no, I'm going to do one and then you're going to Okay, my first is Franklin and Bash. I loved, loved, loved that show until they got rid of Pindar and the girl, I don't remember her name. It just wasn't as good after they weren't there anymore. So. That's my first honorable mention. Who's your first honorable mention? Mine. How it's made. Yeah. You'll probably see quite a contrast between the two types of shows. Oh, I bet I know what number one is. You have six seasons of it? Nope. Really? Honey, honey, honey. Wrong show. My second honorable mention is Royal Pains. I loved that show. I was sad when I saw that it was over. But I do know the guy who played Hank is now going to have his sitcom coming up in the fall. So I'll have to watch it. So, your next honorable mention? I kind of broke a little bit of the rule with this one. He's always breaking the rules. But it's not great. It's Bending them very. Till they break? Almost till. Okay. Because. What is your. One of our rules in this list was non animated. Yes. Well, that I was the only rule. I chose something computer generated. That's the same damn thing. But it's not like they ha The only reason I chose it is because it would be literally, literally impossible to get actual footage of it. You can't have a footage of an up close of a hypernova. Mike, you see what I'm kind of saying here? What so is I the show? Cosmos. I'm not you sure could now. exactly. You couldn't get real footage of that. So I. Okay. To to be fair, that. I did say no animation. So I'll let that one. Pass. Everything else is perfectly fine. That was the only one I bent the rules on. Okay. There will usually be one of those in every video. With my my number five is currently on right now. All mine are still all, all of mine No, are mine is like on on right now. No one of mine ended. Everything else is still ongoing. Anyway, I mine think. is my number five is Big Brother. I've watched it since season two. There were a couple seasons I didn't finish just because the people were total assholes and just horrible and I couldn't watch it anymore. This year, yeah, I've seen worse, but I've seen way better. Exactly. Why do you so, think? So, my number five is Big Brother, which if any of y'all don't know, it is. They put, I think this year there were 16 people in a house, no outside communication, except Julie Chen. Um, if any of y'all watch. You kick them out of the house. It's Survivor, but indoors. And you have free food. Kind of, yeah. You have to be manipulative. You have to be a bitch. Or an well, no, no, you have to be nice. Otherwise, people, everybody hates you when you get voted off the house. Sometimes. Dr. Will got everybody to do his dirty work for him, and he won. Mm -hmm. Kind of like Paul is doing right now. Everybody loves him, but he actually has a dead spot. He's got everybody else to do it for him. So, your number five? My number five 
focus. Whose line is it anyway? I didn't think of that one. That is a really good show. I love that show. Which one? That, that one? Well, there was one with... They still have my two favorite Drew people. Carey. And now there's one with that Aisha Tyler. Really it was does. quitting the talk today. I think it's her last episode with the talk. So anyway, my number four, it's not on anymore. Um, it used to be on VH1. You can see on YouTube, I'm pretty sure they have episodes. Um, it was called Silent Library. Uh, I love that. It was so funny. That was an you evil show. You had to, they did stuff to you. It was a Japanese game show almost. In the setting of a library, but you had to be quiet. Like they put a gerbil down this one man's pants for like a minute, and he couldn't say anything. Um, they had to put together a puzzle while electrodes were attached to them, and, it would, and they couldn't say anything, but they had to get the puzzle together in a certain amount of time. Or they had to eat. Disgusting. That nasty stuff. And that's the sick part of me coming up. It was absolutely hilarious. Kind of like Jackass, but not with all that dick oh, and ass but the fun throwing up stuff. But the funny part is, is like, uh, still my favorite gag that went on is you had to open up the door. Well, it had a hammer and it went right where you expected it to be on him emphasis on him. Well, the thing is, you can't say anything, but your friends can't laugh loud either. Yeah, you, fail. you had four friends with you? Five friends. Yeah. It was one that the punishment was happening to or from, and then they had five friends with them, and yeah. they couldn't make noise either, or you didn't get the amount of money for that round. Because they always passed out Anyway, search it. It's um, funny. Search it on YouTube. Silent Library. Funny as hell. If you like that kind of thing. Alright, you're number four. Rob Deerdeck's Ridiculousness. That's a good one. Oh, uh, we like Rob Deerdeck from Fantasy Factory. And Robin Big. Yeah. Rest in peace, Big Black. I liked him. He was funny. New work. That's what you're going to say about ridiculousness. You're not going to tell them who else is in it or what it is for someone who's never seen it. Watch it. MTV One. Okay. Number three. Here you go. There can be only one. Should have been your number one. Nope. Not my number one. Highlander. The one with Adrian Paul. Not the movies. Because I didn't really care for the movies. I mean, they weren't bad, but I preferred the TV show, and Adrian Paul was way hotter than Christopher Lambert, Lambert, however you want to say his name. Um, I would watch it before going to the strip club every Saturday night in my early 20s. That's how I knew when you start getting ready, is when Highlander started. So, okay, that was my number three. What's your number three? We've been grocery shopping today, and he got a shot today. Not in the butt, unfortunately. But now he's all cleared to go to college. Yay! Alright, number three. I don't care about monsters. I like fish and chips. So tell him what it is. Who it is. Jeremy Wade, Big Fish. Watch it. Really? Honey, I'm tired. Okay, my number two is Dylan has seen one episode of this show. And I had the first two seasons on DVD. And that's The Pretender. It's really hard to explain. This man could was raised in the center and could be anyone he wanted to be, any occupation he wanted to be. And they were trying to get him back into the center and the whole show is them trying to get him as he's helping other people by being 
whatever it is of that show. He's a cop. He's a doctor. He's a scientist. If he wants to be, he more or less gains the knowledge to do it. Yes. Skills. Really, really good show. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's The Pretender. With Michael Weiss, I think is his name. Okay. Number two. My number two. Your number two. That is what you thought earlier. I thought your number one would be? Yep. Ghost Adventures. We watch that show a lot together, especially on Fridays. Oh, today's Friday. Yep. It's... He loves this show, but when he was younger, <laughs> if he were to watch it, he had to sleep in the same room as me. Because it freaked him out. When he was younger. He's Done. 18 now. Done. Yeah. Zach Bagans and Aaron Goodwin and Billy Tolley used to be Nick Roth, but... Nick's an asshole. Sorry. You want me to edit that out? You want me to go clean it? Okay, moving along. Nick Roth used to be part of the crew until the little scandal went down where somehow or another it got out that they fixed some evidence. They did say they did, but I mean, they only did it on a few things, and I mean, if you're running a show, if you don't get any evidence, that's a complete flop, and if you get a complete flop, you don't make money, you can't do your show, blah, blah, blah. I can understand the reasoning behind it doesn't mean a like it, blah, 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 but they only did it on a few certain locations, and if you pay close enough attention, you can pick out what's fake. If you really can, they weren't that good at it. But really good show. I own currently six seasons of it, and the sixth season is over a thousand minutes. So it's like one thousand one hundred four, I think. It's a really good show. It has San Antonio in it. Not season six. Yeah, yeah the Ghost Tracks. That's right. The Key Hotel. Key no, Hotel. that wasn't in San Antonio. That was in like City. Just the Ghost Tracks from San Antonio. I know. But that's the anyway. episode, so they know if they want to look it up, the key okay. hotel. My number one. I will freaking go snot your drink. Oh, that's gross. And don't stick it near my nose. I wasn't trying to stick it towards your nose. It was right here. Sorry, I was going through my It's just one. Anyway, my number one. Can you guess? I really expected to have, like... Uh, Housewives of Blah 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 on the list somewhere. Hey, you watch it every day. Oh, I know. I only watch Orange County. That's the only one I watch. Exactly. And that's only on once a week. Anyway, my number one. And I own every season of the show. And I watched the spin off on Netflix. We should do Netflix shows too. Yeah. Um, and that's Gilmore Girls. I love, 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 love me some Gilmore Girls. Um, like I said, I own every season. I've watched it numerous, numerous, Did numerous you times. Did you to watch Charmed? Shall I watch Charmed? Yes. Okay, sorry. And I have you. seen Charmed. I've probably seen every Charmed, but it's not one I like enough to where I would go with it. Sorry, that just clicked off in my head when you were talking about that. Okay. You're number one. Okay, I don't know what it is because it's not animated. I don't know. Oh, excuse me. I reject your reality and substitute my own. I have no idea. When in doubt, C4. Okay. Don't question the Heidemann. Or the Savage. Him. If they haven't gotten it by now, they must have not Some watched the show. Some people have never seen the show. Well, I've only seen it because of you. I, that's not something I would have watched. In my opinion... Except the Jaws specials. Yeah. In my opinion, the show has ended. Even though it technically hasn't, but in my opinion it has. Because the original Mythbusters have retired. The show has ended. I don't give a sh who's come up after them. It's not going to be as good. Never Weren't they the ones that were on the original show, though? 
Yes, they were the original two Mythbusters. No, 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 no. The people who do the new one, aren't they the ones that were under? No, no, no. Gary Grant and yeah, Tori left earlier. Oh, okay. Then they had about five... They had several seasons with just Adam and I know. Jamie. And then they retired. Now they have... They had a, a mini-series where they had several pairs compete to become the new Mythbusters. I don't know if Mythbusters still exist because of that or not. I haven't given a rat's Okay, so, repeat mine real quick, because I have to go log in. My two honorable bitches, Franklin and Bash, and Royal Paints. Number five, Big Brother. Number four, Silent Library. Number three, Highlander. Number two, The Pretender. Number one, Gilmore Girls. Mine are honorable mentions were Cosmos and How It's Made. My number five was Whose Line Is It Anyway? My number four was Ridiculousness. Sorry. My number three was River Monsters. My number two was Ghost Adventures. And my number one TV show of all time is Myth Monsters. I need to sneeze. Finish it. Come on! You're the one who does your sign-offs. I know, but I need to sneeze. Do it before you start sneezing. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll be back next Friday with another list. It'll be Dylan's week to pick the topic. Um, let us know your top five lists in the comments. Or make a video and share the link in the comments. That's it for now. Toodles. Bye from Laurie. Bye from... I don't know what I called you. Sunshine Bear.